Greetings everyone and welcome back again. This time I'm going to show you how you can play your media files on the Nintendo Wii U using Plex Media Server. The Wii U is a fun console to play games on but it's not so good when it comes to playing video or music but what it does have is a decent HTML5 browser which has some good online video playing capabilities. We're going to harness this by using Plex Media Server. So I'll start by showing you an example of how the browser plays online streaming videos. Then move on to show you the installation of Plex Media Server on a PC, which will act as the server for the media itself. I'll also show you how the Wii U and PC cope with the different types of media files, as well as try out a few of the channels you can add to Plex. This is what streaming video on the Wii U's browser looks like. On YouTube for example, if you browse to a video and then click play on it with the gamepad, it plays the video full screen on the TV. It also opens the video in a window on the gamepad, which you can toggle on and off with this button. You can use the controls on this window to skip, pause or play the video on the TV. Whilst the video is playing on the TV, you can minimise this window and still use the gamepad to browse to other content. Then at any time you can pull down the video window and resume. You then close the video and the TV goes back to mirroring what's on the gamepad screen. And it's this that we want to replicate with Plex. To install Plex, head over to the Plex.tv website. Here you can read through some of the features of the program. Once you're happy with it, click the sign up button which will take you to this page. Here you sign up for a free Plex account. Don't worry, there's no junk mail associated with it, just one confirmation email. When you're done, head back to Plex.tv and sign in. Once signed in, click downloads and it will take you to the download section. This is what we want, Plex Media Server for a computer. So click computer. It has all the different versions for various operating systems. I'm using Windows 7 and I'm English so choose Windows and then click download English. Once downloaded click the program to run it and follow the installation procedure. It's very straightforward and only takes a couple of minutes. Click launch when it's finished and it will launch the server. It's now running. See down there in my taskbar? It might launch the media manager straight away too, but in my case it didn't. Alright, it's a couple of days later now and we're ready to add some media to Plex. By default Plex will start as you boot your machine. So right click the icon and choose media manager. This will open the web interface to the server and your machine's browser at 127.0.0.1 port 32400. Remember that. Use this section to sign in. I'm not 100% sure why you need to sign in. I think it's for tracking the progress of viewed files etc. But it only takes a second and it does keep you logged in. As you can see, the channels and the library are both empty. Let's add some files. In my library, click the plus icon to add a section. Let's choose movies first. On my PC, I created this temporary folder with some example media in. In the add section window, click add folder, then browse to your chosen destination. For me, it's desktop, test media, and movies. And then hit add. Change the advanced options if you want, but the default works just fine. When you're done, click save and Plex will start importing the media, or rather the location of that media. Then it imports metadata information for each file, and it does this in the background while you do other tasks. Let's add another section, TV shows this time. Same again, add folder and then browse to that folder. Click save and it should start importing the files. 
and creating the data for each file. I'll show you that data in a bit. Lastly, let's add some music to the library. This time I don't go all the way into the folder structure, but stop at the music folder and save that. There you go, you can see the recently added files, including the two albums in the recently added section. And all the while it's downloading information about the files. Let's add a few channels now. Similar process, click the plus icon, choose which channel you want, then click install. I'll choose iPlayer, Revision 3 and TED Talks. Each one only takes a few seconds to install, although it might take long if you have a slow internet connection. They're all done. Here's a quick look at what else is available. What's new, most popular, recently updated, and you can search for channels by category or media type. It seems to have most of the popular online content providers. To get back to the front page, click the home icon in the top left of the screen. There you can see that all those three channels that we added are now there. And all the media we added is also in the recently added section. Let's have a look at that metadata I was talking about on True Grit. As you can see, it has the basic film information, director, writer, and cast. It also has a blurb of what the film is about. Then down there you have some technical information, video resolution, and some sound info. Alright, let's play it. It's playing as an embedded video in the web browser, just like on YouTube. And you can click this to get it full screen. Any jerkiness and silence, by the way, is just down to my screen recorder, rather than Plex. Let's try another. Click this to go back to the section you're on. Let's have some Stallone this time. I've used these films, by the way, to test the different formats. This one is an MKV from a DVD. The Hobbit is an MP4 from a Blu-ray and True Grit was an AVI from a DVD. Back to the action. Click play to start the movie. Pretty quick. And skipping through the film is quite fast too. That's enough for that one. Let's test The Hobbit. There you can see it 1080p full HD. Once again, opens fast and skipping through the film is fine too. Faster than that MKV actually. Strange. And there it is, full screen and windowed again. So let's just quickly look at the TV shows. I'll go into the TV shows section and there it is, the three files I added with some nice DVD cover artwork. I'll choose Prison Break there's the episode blurb again and it has the episode name which I, I quite like here's the last episode it's got some nice background art this one that'll do I'm not going to play them as they're no different from the movies ripped from DVDs one last thing to do before we go over to the Wii U we need to access this PC from the Wii U's browser so I need to know what the computer's internal IP address is to find that on Windows run the command prompt, then type ipconfig. This is what we want, the IPv4 address, so I can access this server on that address from the same network. And remember that port number? No, of course you don't. There it is in the browser's address bar, 32400. Okay, let's close this web interface. If you check down there, you can see the server is still running. So we'll go over to the Wii U and log on again. First thing you need to do once your Wii U is booted up is click on the browser icon on the gamepad. This loads up the last page you were on. For me, it's my YouTube channel page. Now click on the address bar and enter the address that you got from the PC when running ipconfig. 
So it's 192.168.1.80. It was .73 when I did the IP config. That's because I changed from wireless to a wired connection for this. Streaming the HD video isn't that good with my cheapo Wi-Fi adapter. Just like on your PC, put in colon 32400 slash web and then hit OK. If it's all working, your browser should go to the Plex server homepage, same as on the PC. It's got the items on deck there, as they were the last ones we played. Now log in again, just like on the PC. Yeah, that made no difference. Maybe it will remember where we were up to with the movies. Alright, let's do a couple of tests. Into the first movie again. Same interface as on the PC, but it's a little slower this time as we're connected over the network rather than directly. Press play and see how it works. Ah, there we go. I've got a choice of where to start from. I'll choose resume. And there we go. Playing movies on the Wii U. So it's doing the same as YouTube. It's playing in a separate window which you can toggle on and off. It's also playing on the embedded video, but we can get rid of that by leaving that page. I'll try another one. Whilst this one's still playing, go back to Movies and select True Grit. Yeah, it's even more jerky when I'm scrolling now. Video is still playing smoothly though. Let's start from the beginning this time. It takes a bit longer to load than when I was on the PC. And skipping through it. Yeah, definitely a bit slower. Still, video is smooth and sound quality is good. Not that that really comes across on camera. Okay, let's try the full HD film. Press play again. Oh, the picture's gone from the TV, before I started the other one. It went off for a second there, as I pressed play to go to The Hobbit. Then it just popped back before The Hobbit started. Once playing though, it's alright. It looks good on the gamepad and on the TV. Obviously, it's not going to display at 1080p on the gamepad, as the resolution is only 854 by 480 from what I understand. The resolution is alright on a smaller screen though, and it's portable, kind of. Skipping on the HD film? Oh, it stopped. Well, it stopped for me, although I thought it had. Looks like I must have paused it by mistake. It still takes longer than when we were watching it direct though, understandable. Quick look at the TV shows, yeah, they're all there. I didn't expect anything different to be honest. Again, I'm not going to try and play them, the movies are a test enough. Right, let's try out the music. I'm going to TV on the radio. It's similar to the video files. Plex has downloaded some information about the band. Quite a bit more than for the films actually. Oh, let's just uh, go back into that one. I'll just show you this. If you click on the artwork here, it has some alternative options for images. And it looks like you can hotlink a picture in too by adding the URL of an image. I'm actually looking for the play button here, I don't see it anywhere. Let's have a look in the other album. 
I'm just going to close this to see if the scrolling is any better when it doesn't have to play a movie. Into music, then Alt J. And whoa, the scrolling is still quite a bit jerky. But I uh, click on the album cover to go into it. Hit play. And that's where the music decided to give up. It looks like it's ready to play, and the pause option is there, but it's not playing. I've cut most of this footage out as it's just me fumbling around trying to get it to play. I try the other album too, with no look. The play bar just sits at the top of the screen doing nothing, as you'll see. Let's see how the channels fare. Again, much slower than the PC. Suppose it will take even longer as it has to load content from a third party. Once you get in though, it's good. And you get a choice of resolution. I'll choose full HD again. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Play slower than the HD film from the PC. And of course we can browse to other content while it's playing. Skipping on this video? Yeah, that's quick. Quicker than on The Hobbit. But I did pause that video by mistake. <laughs> Look at that monkey on a podium crazy scientist. Let's try Rev3. Same kind of thing here, categories etc. I'll just choose some at random. That scrolling is not good, it's really bugging me now. A bit of, oh, hard news will do. Let's choose 480p and see if it loads quicker. Yeah, it does. Almost instantly. And skipping through the content. Wow, instant. Obviously, this is a third party providing the content. So if their service over the internet is good, it will load fast. Maybe my PC is just not up to it. It's an i5 with 4 gb RAM, modest, nothing special, but I do have fiber optic internet connection, so maybe that's why this is faster. I play this time. As far as I know, this is still only available for UK residents, but the other channels have been good, so hopefully this one is too. Ah, spoke too soon. The app you're using can't access this channel. Please make sure you have the latest version. Yes, I do. I only just installed it. And now I'm getting no response at all. Nice one, BBC. Can't go back either as it just seems to refresh the page. Again, I'll cut the rest of this footage as I have to return via the address bar to get back in. I thought maybe the server had crashed, but when I went back to the home page via the URL, it was working fine. Well, there you go. Playing media on your Wii U. Well, kind of. The video's played well, the interface is nice, and it has it all in one place, which I do like. Having the iPlayer working is a pain, but here in the UK, everything has the iPlayer now, even smart TVs. The music was the biggest annoyance in my opinion. Just quickly, I'll uh, show you this. I went back in via the PC to try the music, worked first time so I don't know what the problem was maybe if I'd have persevered it might have worked but I didn't see the point hope you enjoyed this extended video thanks for watching